Kimball with your readings for uh, September the 3rd through September the 9th. Now, um, these are general readings, guys. If you would like a personal reading, you may click, sorry, click here. <laughs> click here for a personal reading. Um, listen, guys, if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you uh, stopped by and I really hope that you'll stick around and you'll keep coming back and that you enjoy these readings. Um, and if you're returning, guys, I love you. You're my heart. Thank you so much for being loyal and and uh, keep coming back. I want to thank my patrons. My patrons are amazing. Thank you so much for your generosity. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon page, um, you can click on this link here. Uh, I do postings just for um, just for the patrons, and there's different levels. So check it out um, now. Uh, first of all, I do an astrological report for those of you who haven't been here before, and then, and I put that on every reading um, as an intro, and then I go into the individual readings, um, zodiac signs. So there's a lot going on astrologically this week, guys. So I just wanted to um, mention that. So there's, give me a minute, okay? So on the fifth. Mercury moves into Virgo and that is Mercury's home, you know, analytical. It feels very comfortable um, in Virgo. Now, Mercury in Virgo um, is a great opportunity for you to look at finances, to really kind of analyze what's working, what isn't, and to, you know, make plans for the future. Just be careful not to kind of overanalyze, you know, just kind of take it easy, look at the situation and and figure out what's going to work for you going forward. Um, now the next day, Saturn goes direct. Wow, that's three planets that have gone direct in the last couple of uh, weeks. We have Mercury and then uh, the week before last and then last week we had Mars and this week we have Capricorn. Um, so things are going to start to move forward. If you've been trying to start things and you've had blockages and, and some kind of barriers going up and you couldn't get it done, things are going to start moving forward now. Um, so Saturn uh, has been in retrograde since April the 17th earlier this year. So it's such a relief, you know, that Capricorn is going uh, forward. Uh, Saturn, sorry, Saturn. Is going forward in Capricorn um, which is a beautiful thing this is going to bring focus into our situation so along with Mercury and Virgo and then uh, Saturn in Capricorn going forward we are going to start kind of moving and shaking lots of things I think there's a lot of energy going on um, and things are really going to move fast now um, on the 7th uh, yeah, Mercury in uh, Virgo is trying to Saturn in Capricorn. Well, look, you know, first of all, these planets are going direct and then they're in this beautiful relationship with one another. So I really feel that this is a perfect time to kind of start something new, at least plan something new, right? Because then we've got the new moon on Sunday. But before I go any further, we also have, um, at the same time, we've got uh, Mercury trying to Uranus. Uranus is actually uh, in retrograde and it is in Taurus. So we're going to feel a little pull there, um, but it's in a good relationship. So kind of nice things might, might uh, pop up for us, great things. This is really a good time to kind of have a think tank, to really come up with some brilliant creative ideas. So the sun opposing Neptune, which is retrograde. So this is a brilliant time to really come up with some creative ideas. I mean, that's the energy. We are going to get these amazing creative ideas. Now it's really good to kind of, you know, present them, get them planned. Don't sign anything yet because the sun opposing Neptune can make you a little fuzzy. So, you know, it can have that tendency. So don't just just hold off on signing anything or, or committing to anything, but definitely come up with these brilliant ideas, present them, you know, have meetings, go on interviews. And um, on the 8th, 
Venus uh, in Libra square is square to Mars in Capricorn. Um, there could be some challenges romantically here. You know, this could be um, uh, issues coming up in these in re in your relationship in your romantic relationships. This this is a time to kind of um, look at it from a different angle and and solve it peacefully. Try try a different approach. Look, screaming and arguing never really works, does it? So try to think of stepping back and taking a different view and and solving this in a in a different way because this is an opportunity for a much deeper connection and and getting really close with one another when you when you resolve it in a peaceful way um so now uh on this and then we've got the new moon on sunday the new moon in virgo now this is compassionate and creative energy um, brilliant ideas I told you this is all weak um, but practical right um, now and at the same time Venus enters Scorpio so this is like very deep intense feelings and emotions around your loved one and so this is this is an intense time look these brilliant ideas are coming to you it's very important to write them down it's a new moon it's your intention and i've said this before when you write it down it's not about writing it down and saying i'm i, I'm, I intend to do this i intend to do that i intend to. it's about describing how it would feel if that was the case and as if you are experiencing that write that down because that is the law of attraction as you're writing that down and you're feeling it you are attracting it and um, what a brilliant way to start uh, to start an intention on the new moon and this moon uh, this new moon in particular so well every new moon I always say that this new moon <laughs> But this is very powerful, creative energy at play during this week, this whole week, guys. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's go to your cards, shall we? Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading for uh, September the 3rd through September the 9th. And the first card out for you is the Four of Coins. This has come out for quite a few people, so I feel that a lot of people are holding on to something um, this week. And uh, this is something that's not working for you anymore. It can be a feeling of resentment. It can be a person. It can be a place. It can be uh, money. You know, if you're afraid to spend and you think that your coffers may not be replaced, so to speak, you know, you are, you're being, you're blocking yourself in some way by holding on to whatever it is. And that's something that you have to ask yourself, Sagittarius. What is it that you're holding on to that is no longer working for you? Is it, I don't know, is it a place you're living in? Is it uh, a person? Is it a behavior? is it uh is it money are you blocking the energy of money money's energy you sometimes you have to release it to allow it to come in what is it that's blocking you and stopping you from moving forward so it's a question that you need to ask yourself now clarifying it is the eight of wands and this is like things are happening in a very fast kind of unexpected way um so i feel that it's important to let go of what's not working for you anymore not to try too hard with it whatever it is um this is only something that you can ask because things are really going to happen fast for you and it and and it will happen much faster if you if you allow yourself to let go of whatever it is that's holding you back now the next card for you guys is the two of cups right this is look this it's also known as the lover's card but do you see this the two people are reflected in each other's glass this is definitely about putting yourself in someone else seeing yourself in everyone else 
so that you treat everyone the way you wish to be treated, with respect, with kindness, with reverence, um, and with love. So it's very important to come from this place and not uh, come from a place of um, I'm right. You know, it's definitely, it's definitely compromise. That's the word I'm getting, compromise. Um, and look what's in, in, look, Venus is right in there. Venus, it's love. Look, it's definitely coming from a place of love. So I am getting for some of you that there's perhaps there's some kind of resentment here. There's some kind of feeling of, uh, I don't want to say victimized. I don't want to say victim. I, I, I don't really like that. But do you get what I mean? It's almost like you're feeling kind of sorry for yourself. And so you're coming from this place which isn't, it's not... Um, benefiting you in any way Sagittarius now look clarifying this you have two cards you have the lovers card and you have the world now the lovers card is kind I'm getting perhaps you have a decision to make here there's a decision to make and you've got the world card so this is like whatever dis whatever decision you whatever decision you make you are being uh, supported. If you want to go, look, you can be the same old you doing the same old things with the same old results, or you can do something completely different and move forward in love and harmony, right? Because something, something needs to go. And I'm saying that because the next card is the tower and nobody likes the tower because that feeling is not great, but it's always for the best. Something good always comes out of the tower. Look, something's got to go for sure. I'm not sure what it is. You can ask yourself, but something's got to go. Your idea of something, your perception of something, your opinion, uh something has to go here for you Sagittarius and you have look clarifying it you've got the nine of cups things will really work out well for you um look this is he's sitting there and he's got all this wealth and um it's almost like you're at the finish line I'm getting you're almost there and the number nine is really signifying that you're almost there and you can have um wonderful emotional fulfillment if you let go of the idea of something i'm not sure what that is for you sagittarius but what i am getting is that it's almost like um it's almost like a fixed idea and you it's almost like I, i'm getting the ball that i'm it's almost like a i stubbornness it's almost like that. It's like, you know, I'm hanging on. This is right. When, you know, you just need to let it go. It's almost like free fall, you know, because there's so much better for you. Don't hang on to something that's, you know, that's not working for you or that needs to go. Perhaps something's going and you don't want it to go and you're trying to hold on to it. And it's like, no, let it go. Go with the flow. Trust that you are going to be okay. The universe has your back. Look, right in the middle, it's all about love. So when you let go, you see things are happening fast and you're holding on to something, right? And when you let go and you, you allow love to come in, things really work out for you. This is going, because if you don't, this is, the, this is the message in this reading, Sagittarius. If you don't let it go, it will be removed. So, in an, you know, you, the tower is saying you've got to release something. And if you release it, you'll be free. And you'll be quite happy. This, these are dreams come true. This is emotional fulfillment. This is your needs being met. This is almost at the finish line. You've nearly got everything, right? He's sitting there on his own, you know, surrounded by his wealth and his fortune and he's feeling all that and a bag of chips. <laughs> and he's alone. 
Yes, he's alone, but he's not lonely. He's made these choices for himself. So if you make this choice for yourself to let go of whatever it is that is you're holding on to that's not working for you, and you know, if you really look at it, you will see it. It's time to do some kind of introspective work. It's time to look inside. It's time to look at what's working and what isn't. And when you let it go yourself, this is the result. Right? Sagittarius, the work, look, the universe is supporting you in a change going forward. There's definitely a big change coming in your life. Embrace the change. Let go of the old and welcome in the new with open arms, love, and optimism. Because things that, you know, the tower always removes something that needs to go anyway. It's shake. it's, the, it's kind of, it's, this is Pluto. Shaking things up, you know, making things, you know, shaking things up. If you're not making the change, the change will be made for you. That's what the tower is. Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I didn't mean Pluto, I meant, I meant Uranus. <laughs> See? Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading with Mary, go to www.liveinthesolution.com.